More than any country in the world, Japan is a case study in the triumphs of human efficiency. Giant brands like Toyota, Nintendo, Sony, Nikon, and Yamaha may have been created by a population fueled by nothing more complicated than raw fish and rice. But it's how the fish and rice are put together that makes this a global date night favorite. Without a doubt, sushi is one of Japan's greatest gifts to the world. Almost poetic in its simplicity, good sushi relies on two things, the freshness of the ingredients and the knife skills of the chef. To guarantee an almost religious obsession of fresh fish perfection, that is the highest quality fish for sushi and sashimi, one they feel confident can be eaten raw, Japan often has to look outside its borders. This is a South African ship called the Cape Orchid. In September of 2012, this ship left the port of Durban in South Africa with 1,000 tons of fish as its cargo and its destination was the port of Tokyo, which is by definition the sushi capital of the world. Every year since then, Japan has taken in thousands of tons of fish from Africa. So it's very possible that the sushi platters you've been eating in Tokyo's sushi bars or restaurants may have come from this landlocked country in Africa. Thanks in part to a global sushi boom, Japanese sushi dealers have had to turn to surprising sources to help supply the high demand. One of those sources is the African nation of Lesotho, a landlocked nation completely surrounded by South Africa. However small the country may be, it has the second biggest dam on the continent, which has been used since 2012 to farm high-quality grade fish for export to Japan. The idea of Japanese consumers eating sushi exported from a tiny African country with no coastline may sound improbable, but the kingdom of Lesotho is pulling it off. Lesotho is the world's highest country. The lowest point here is at 1,400 meters above sea level, making it the highest lowest point of any of the world's nation, which explains why the country is often referred to as the kingdom in the sky. You would not immediately associate Africa with snow, but Lesotho is home to one of seven ski resorts on the continent. Its exceedingly mountainous terrain not only provides it with bragging rights of its tourists being able to enjoy drinks above the clouds, but also turns out to be the perfect conditions for fish farming. This fish farm project, hoping to boost the country's economy by meeting overseas demand from small beginnings only 10 years ago, the country's Highlands Trout operation has become a big fish in a rather small pond. The company now produces some of the world's finest made in Africa trout and is exporting thousands of tons of fish to Japan and South Africa. The quality of trout is so good it goes straight to retail, having become a favorite in gourmet sushi, even managing to bypass Tsukiji, Tokyo's massive wholesale fish market, usually the first destination of all foreign fish imported to Japan. They sell the trout directly to consumers in a country where consumer standards for sushi are the highest the world over. This has helped tiny Lesotho produce more than twice the amount of trout as its much larger neighbor South Africa. And the operation has been heralded as an example of how Africa can benefit commercially from creative investment and utilization of its aquaculture opportunities. The fish farm which is located 2,200 meters above sea level in the Maluti Mountains, provides pristine environmental conditions for farming large trout. Thanks to the altitude, the water temperatures are so close to ideal for trout for most of the year. While Japan-bound fish are stuck on a ship for close to a month while on transit, 
the farm management says that the added logistics and extra costs are worth it since the premium price they sell the fish for in Japanese supermarkets makes up for any additional logistical nightmares. The production process starts with the fish arriving in Lesotho from Denmark as eggs. They are then stored in temperature-controlled pens until they become fingerlings, weighing around 10 grams. The baby fish are so fragile at this stage that the water quality is monitored regularly. Once they become fingerlings, the fish are transferred to small nursery cages in the Katse Dam, Africa's second largest double coverture arc dam. In these more natural conditions, the fish grow to around 20 centimeters in length and a weight of around 150 grams. They are then moved to larger grow cages where they live their last days in the mountain kingdom. The fish are fed on special pellets imported in from France. Through this whole process, which takes around 20 months, some of the fish grow as heavy as 2.8 kilograms, lean fish meat fresh for sushi, soups and sizzling grills. And it's the vast majority of these fish, 85%, that will be gutted and loaded onto 40-foot refrigerated containers and shipped from the South African port of Durban to Asia. The remainder, 10%, is sold to South Africa, while the rest, which amounts to 5%, is consumed locally in Lesotho. The Japanese market is always on the lookout for sushi alternatives, as global wild tuna populations have been declining. Highlands trout, which has been exporting to Japan since late 2012, now hopes to expand its annual output of 8,000 tons as Lesotho's trout handling capacity between Katse and another dam in the works is expected to reach 15,000 tons a year. In comparison, South Africa, with its massive coastline along two oceans, has an aquaculture industry that produces around 4,000 to 4,500 tons per year. Sure, when the amount of business in terms of tonnage and dollars exchanged is compared to the global market, Lesotho still has a long way to go and is still only scratching the surface. For instance, salmon production in countries like Norway and Chile is more than a whopping 1 million metric tons per year. But Lesotho is showing no signs of shrinking in the face of competition. Projected growth rates over the next decade are expected to grow by some 2,000 tons per year. The company plans to increase its production in Katze Dam and expand production in Mohale Dam as well as adding to its product range with filleted trout. Back in the 1970s, around 70% of Lesotho households had men working as migrants in South Africa the vast majority in underground mines. But South Africa's gold industry, which is the fifth largest in the world, is in a state of steep decline as costs soar and shafts plunge deeper to extract the ore, while other sectors such as platinum are facing challenges because of low prices and labor union strikes. Over the past two decades, South Africa's mining industry has shed tens of thousands of jobs, many from Lesotho. So, the hundreds of jobs created by Highlands Trout are certainly a major boost for the area. But the kingdom's economy, mostly based on subsistence farming and the export of water to South Africa, needs to generate many more jobs perhaps by tapping its natural advantages, such as its raw natural scenic beauty, to encourage more tourism. Made in Africa sushi is a new twist in the African-Asian trade dynamic, offering hope that a small landlocked country can tap its natural resources to produce and export a high-value product to discerning consumers. In another improbable twist to the tale, rainbow trout is native to the Pacific Rim of North America and Russia, far closer to Japan than the highlands of Lesotho. 
the species' adaptability makes it the ideal farmed trout, and it has been introduced to at least 45 countries and every continent except Antarctica. But Lesotho is one of few places with the clean and cold water conditions needed to produce a world-class quality that makes the cut in Japan. That's all for today, guys. If you'd like to continue getting a better understanding of Africa, start now by subscribing and you'll be on your way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.